Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the first edition of LAMAT program, organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, with the support of NBB and in cooperation with BIPA, in the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad, and BIPA Director General Dr. Ra'id Mohammed bin Shams, and NBB CEO Jean Christophe Durand. His Highness as Sheikh Nasser affirmed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's pride in Bahraini youth, and they are the kingdom's future in all fields. His Highness added that to implement the royal vision of and in support of the youth and their empowerment, he directed the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to launch the first edition of the program Lama, which focuses on discovering, refining, and highlighting Bahraini youth talents in various fields. He sent a message to those who were not fortunate enough to reach the final stage of the first edition and said that they have ample opportunities in the future and there are many challenges to qualify for the second stage. His Highness hailed the cooperation between the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, NBB and BIPA, in implementing this project optimally to reach its goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the winners of the program, Saida al Jawder, Rawan Tawfiqi and Fatma al-Bestigi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the achievements of camel sport after earning first place in the 16th edition of the camel race in the UAE. His Highness praised the achievements of Bahrain in this field, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added this event witnessed wide participation and added that this achievement will drive more accomplishments. نسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد بن عيسى آر خليفة تهانينا لراشد بن ناصر بن مشيط المري سلام مع هذا الأداء المتميز اللي قدمه اللي قدمه رمز ولحظات First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, opened today the World Junior Fencing Championship, which is held at the Handball Hall in Umm Al Hassan. The opening ceremony was attended by the Deputy Chairman of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, member of the Executive Council of the International Federation and President of the Asian and Arab Fencing Federation, and President of the UAE Fencing Federation. His 
Highness Sheikh Salim Al Qasimi, in addition to Vice President of the International Federation and President of the Egyptian Federation, Mr. Abdul Munam Al Husseini, and CEO of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, the President of the Bahrain Fencing Federation, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Egypt to Bahrain, Ambassador Yasser Mohammed Ahmed Shaban. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad expresses happiness in organizing the championship, which is part of the efforts exerted to reflect His Majesty the King's directives to develop sports in the kingdom, in addition to enhancing Bahrain's status on the world sports map as a potential destination for holding big sporting events. His Highness lauded the support and care of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness also commended on the follow-up and support of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that contributed in developing the Bahraini sports movement. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted that hosting these international sports championships in the Kingdom of Bahrain enhances efforts to revitalize sports tourism, which is considered one of the great opportunities that support the implementation of plans and programs for the sports industry and investment in this vital sector to bolster national economy and accomplish the goals of Bahrain Vision 20. His Highness praised the efforts made by the Bahrain Fencing Federation, headed by Sheikh Ibrahim bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the great preparation and organization of this tournament in a distinguished manner, which contributed in making this global sporting event a success. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned the Egyptian player Mohamed Yassin as the world champion in the junior fencing game after his victory over the French player Lino Herlin in the final match, in which the Egyptian player recorded his victory in this confrontation with a result of 3 12. His Highness praised the great levels of the competitions on the first day, congratulating the winners of the first places and wishing the rest of the participants the best of luck. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Bahraini lawyer Aisha Mtawi following her appointment as an arbitrator at the Court of Arbitration for Sports. His Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's national competencies in various fields who have proved their worth regionally and globally thanks to the constant care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for Bahraini youth. He hailed the unwavering interest of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in investing in national cadres through the government's action plan by honing the skills of national competencies so as to be able to hold various posts. His Highness commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to support national competencies so as to be able to bring about more achievements to the kingdom. His Highness affirmed that the appointment of a Bahraini lawyer to CAS is a source of pride, noting that Bahraini cadres have earned the respect of everyone thanks to their dedication and determination. He wished Aisha Mitlaiwi every success in carrying out her duties. The lawyer expressed thanks and gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, noting that her appointment is living proof of CAS confidence in Bahraini cadres. The Shura Council held its meeting presided over by its chairman, Ali Al Saleh. The council discussed and approved the report of the Services Committee on a draft law amending of the establishment and organization of the University of Bahrain. It discussed and approved the report of the Committee of Foreign Affairs and Defense and National Security, a law amending the pay patent system for GCC countries. They discussed and approved the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee regarding a draft law amending Article 1 of Decree Law 27 of 2015. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met with the President of the current session of the United Nations General Assembly, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Maldives, Abdullah Shahid, who is on an official visit to Bahrain. During the meeting, the Minister welcomed Abdullah Shahid, congratulating him on assuming of the UN General Assembly the presidency, praising the efforts of the United Nations in addressing global issues and challenges and searching for solutions for the benefit of humanity. Al Zayani praised the distinguished bilateral cooperation relations between Bahrain and the United Nations, stressing the keenness and interest of Bahrain to advance the partnership and bilateral cooperation with the United Nations. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad, witnessed part of the Youth Market event, which is one of the initiatives of the Ministry for the owners of virtual youth projects and stores, with the aim of supporting youth initiatives, marketing them, and presenting them to the public. The Minister toured the Youth Market in the Sa'ad Mar project in Maharag, where he met with young entrepreneurs and looked into their creative products, as well as, ex as exchanging conversations with them about their ambitions to develop their projects. He was also briefed on the technical activities accompanying the project, which also focus on the Bahraini youth and their artistic creator creations. The minister stressed the importance of the youth market as it continues to provide an opportunity for Bahraini youth to present their projects and products. He added that the upcoming phase will witness more initiatives that support the Bahraini vision 2030. So this is a strategic um, project that we had initiated at the Ministry of Youth and Sports with our counterparts, friends and partners at IDAMA. Um, the, the objective of it was to discover Bahraini talent and to present Bahraini talent to allow them to sell their products and their services to the general public in an environment that, that's um, entertaining and, and uh, welcoming to say the least. Uh, the youngest we have, the youngest participant we have uh, is, or the youngest entrepreneur that we have is 16 years old, um, out of school during her break um, she had initiated this venture of hers, and I hope her and everybody else um, all the best. Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bainain held a press conference to announce the public prosecution's annual statistics for the year 2021. In the presence of Assistant Attorney General Counselor Wa al Bu'allai and the head of the Judicial Inspection First Attorney General Counselor Osama al Ufi, he announced that a general completion rate of 99% has been achieved. He revealed a decrease in the domestic violence cases handled by the public prosecutions in 2021, a decrease in drug crimes and a decrease in the number of cases violating COVID-19 precautionary measures. He said that in 2021, the prosecution issued a number of decisions to develop work related to economic components in line with the kingdom's vision towards sustainable development and as an investment incubating environment. He added that a tax evasion unit was established to investigate evasion crimes in violation of the provisions of tax laws. The attor attorney general highlighted the establishment of the Office of Execution and Subsequent Care at the Family and child prosecution, which is responsible for the implementation and follow-up of the implementation of rulings and orders issued by the Correctional Justice, Justice Court and the Judicial Committee for Childhood. The family and child prosecution has a share in those developments considering the sensitivity of its jurisdiction related to the criminal treatment and provisions of the protection and care for children, women and the family in general. The family and child prosecution has been carrying out its uh, tasks entrusted to it with full support in accordance with the decisions of His Excellency, the Attorney General, which recognize the jurisdiction and work of the prosecution. Moreover, the execution and the aftercare office was established so that the family and child prosecution can implement the restorative justice law for children and protection from maltreatment in a complete and unique way. Well, 2021 was absolutely full of achievements. As the financial crimes and money laundering prosecution completed 95% of its cases, it goes without saying that this achievement precisely was the result of following the regulations by which His Excellency the Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bainain directed the investigation and disposal of this type of case due to its importance and its harmful impact on the public money and the public function as well as on the economy and investment. And now to talk more about this, we are joined on the phone by Assistant Prosecutor Mr. Ibrahim al fadala Hello, Mr. Ibrahim. In his speech at the press conference today, the Attorney General reviewed this aspect of development in the public prosecution during last year. Can you tell us more about that? As His Excellency, the Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadal Bu'anin, has previously stated, 
permanent and continuous development is necessary and essential for the public prosecution. The public prosecution occasionally conducts an evaluation of the level of performance whenever it becomes clear to us that there is a need to enhance the capabilities of the public prosecution office, we take the necessary measure to provide what would improve such capabilities and increase their efficiency. The judicial inspection under the directive of His Excellency the Attorney General is concerned with following up and evaluating performance and providing observation and recommendation on which the development process is then based. Our tools for development are the decisions of the Attorney General that are issued to establish prosecution offices specialized in certain types of crime that enable the public prosecution to apply the law with a procession and in an adequate manner to achieve its purposes. That's what we have witnessed over the past year and also what led the public prosecution during 2021 to establish the Tax Deviation Crime Unit to protect the rights of the state and the Execution and Doctor Care Office to achieve the objective of the restorative justice law for children and to protect them from maltreatment. That was Assistant Prosecutor Mr. Ibrahim Al Fadala. Thank you for joining us. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, affirmed that the Ministry's success in passing the external audit of the ISO certificates in the business continuity system comes within the continuous efforts to implement business continuity management in addition to crisis management in various possible and potential circumstances, which led to obtaining this kind of advanced international certification. The Ministry was also able to pass the external audit and obtain the ISO certificates in the occupational health and safety management system. Al Zayani stressed that this achievement was made with the great support of the government and its constant belief in developing and activating international systems in a way that is reflected in the development of various aspects of work which will lead to the development of institutional work and raising the efficiency of performance in the ministry. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry inaugurated the new headquarters for managing the customer center in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, and the BCCI Chairman, Samar Nas. The inauguration came with the aim of increasing the range of services provided to the Chamber's members and raising the level of their quality with high technical standards so that its customers could comp complete their work easily and conveniently in an advanced and ideal work environment in record time. The new headquarters also included a special office to receive the Chamber's clients, working to provide quick educational and introductory services to all members with the services and facilities provided by the Chamber, in addition to screens for providing electronic services to members with high professionalism and quality. The Assistant Undersecretary for Agricultural Affairs of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and Chairman of the Organizing Committee of the Bahraini Farmers Market, Dr. Abdul Aziz Mohammed Abdul Karim, said that the ninth edition of the market is witnessing a high turnout of visitors from Bahrain and the GCC. He pointed out that the massive turnout confirms the distinguished status of the market, which has evolved into a regional event. He affirmed the Organizing Committee's commitment to implementing the directives of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus as entry is restricted to holders of the Green Shield in the Be Aware app. He added that the market provides a platform for Bahraini farmers to showcase and market their products in an attractive agriculture incubator, incub incubator in a civilized manner aimed at achieving the national goals of developing the agricultural sector and consolidating the kingdom's food security. The Housing Ministry distributed 2,000 more units to citizens in Khalifa and Salman towns. This came in an implementation of the Royal Directives of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The Ministry continued to deliver the unit's keys for applicants according to the pre prepared list and the delivery process was carried out with the necessary precautionary measures. It said that these projects are distinguished by their locations and facilities and confirmed the constant keenness to provide housing units and the best services to citizens to meet aspirations.